April 11th is the anniversary of the day I was adopted at two weeks old. And the opening poem of Greece Alphabet is Birthday as Adoption Day. I tore open the chrysalis, or burrowed out of earth, to blink in the shock of light. I took worm from beak and cried alive. I pulsed the river, my gills a tremble. I struck shells asunder. A nurse settled me in your arms, and I, with we, I began. So, as was mentioned, I was born in and grew up in the oh-so-glamorous place, the American Midwest, which means our family holidays were always, and we had a camper that we'd attached in one of those pop-ups, and we would drive, so it was always either Illinois or a contiguous state. So, <laughs> so the, um, there's a, a, the epigraph uh, locates this poem as Lake Schaefer, Indiana, and this is called First Poem. Not my first body of water, but my first alone, O oh, of the open mouth. Back at the campsite, all I called family, delicious distance. On the bank, I wrote the lake in quatrains, leaned into their pull, word by word, the elixir. Maudi, I called, as I resumed, as I ran. Guileless, I offered up my journal. Here is the light. So this book, Grief's Alphabet, is a memoir in poems. Um, it is a story, always at the forefront, explicitly or implicitly, it's a story of my relationship with my mother um, and her unexpected death in 2011, which tells you how many years it's taken to write this book. Pregnant teenager and her mama. You eat and eat and tremble. You tremble and eat, and your mother watches you like a mouse, a cat. She swoops in like a bat. You hope to be claimed. She alights beside you. Your hands turn palms up. Apology. Kangaroo, she plucks and drops you in the warmth of her pouch. What will I do, you think? No need for speech. Her tongue's on your fur, or her love's your skin. The years a crucible, and here she is, a doe who leads her fawn to water and waits. I was pretty lucky. So this image on the cover, the cardinal in the snow, um, you all get your Christmas cards with robins. Um, we get ours with cardinals because this is the common sight, the bird we see in the winter in the American Midwest. And indeed, um, my head of department at Bristol told me recently that as a girl she used to collect stamps of the state birds of the U.S., and so many of them were cardinals, um, which I didn't realize it was went beyond in Illinois. Um, and so that image first kind of appears uh, in this poem. Homing. Back from California, back from England, I, with my mother, became we. If snow blanketed the yard, we saw a cardinal settle on it briefly. Brilliant red, sharpening the white. If rain fell, 
We lingered and chanted in the rooms where it could best be heard. In summer, we breakfasted on salted melon, ate corn on the cob with dinner. In winter, orange cinnamon tea fragranced the air. For most lunches, we traveled to find another enclave, ideally a booth, where we could eat, we or could relish, General Cho's chicken, or toasted bagels with red onion cream cheese, or BLTs on sourdough. We drank large glasses of iced tea. We talked about how this grandchild slash nephew aced the state math test. How this daughter-sister liked her new job as a teaching assistant. And we talked like this for days. I was like that red cardinal on the white lawn. Easy in brightness. Except I was too. So the first section of the book is called Origin Story and comprises half the poems. The next section is called The Brink. No, not norovirus. The doctors said wait, said run its course, said Give it time. Where was I? The doctors put a date on the horizon. A date of relief. The errant daughter, an ocean away. The date passed on to the hospital. The phone line fizzed, failed to carry. A colonoscopy, the investigation's first step. Hastily, I ordered flowers, set them in my stead. But before the procedure began, did she see them before she went in? Her body become all wound, no breath. Tell me she saw my name. The last kiss. In a borrowed coffin, she. I sat, I tipped, I slouched on a cold, cold metal chair. I spoke by weeping and wept by keening. Her skin touched up artificial orange. I swayed, I lurched, I craned. All my names for her, I tried, I sang, though I saw. I begged by whisper, by me, by tear. The orange of nasturtium or marigold, but not after how long I rose and lingered and a last kiss, last, even now, there I am. The last section is called Orphan Age. Well, I should show you, the book comes with pictures. I've never done this before, but because it's a memoir, there are candidates throughout. And you've got to see this. I mean, I don't know, it's too small. But my mom and dad, when they were young, and they just looked joyous to be cuddled up together like that. I uh, love this photo of them. So, two more poems. This is called The Maudie Box. So, when I use, I should have said when I read the um, first poem, that Maudie was my first name for her. I didn't call her mommy, I called her Maudie, and then that stuck. The Monty Box. I try to remember all there is to remember. 
I labeled a box file the Monty box. Monty, my first name for her. Inside, letters, cards, photos, postcards, post-its. My mind is another Monty box. Inside, her fondness for French burnt peanuts. The time she cried when the radio played, oh, sorry, when, when the radio played Anne Murray singing, You Needed Me. Ticket stubs for John Denver and Peter, Paul, and Mary. The upright piano she never played, never urged us to learn. I collect and collect the novel from her bedside, bookmark never to advance, the framed photo of Pope John Paul II that disappeared from our dining room wall, a predilection for reality for TV's reality talent shows, home refurbishment. I cannot stop. Is it too late to become a better daughter? Yes. <laughs> it is too late. Still, I... Thank you for being amazing. Um, and your attention made me so much to me. Ghost. I stand just outside the house on the north hill of Bath and look down into the valley. I nod at Salisbury Hill and Bath Hampton as though in greeting. The photo captures the moment I raise my arm to point them out to her standing beside me, to her who never stood here who never came to England. My mouth is open. There are so many.